How about trimming your pillar candles with greenery from the garden this year? I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower I've arranging I've got here glasses. some battery operated candles and the reason I've chosen this is I'm putting some natural materials around the bottom of my candle and you just need to be really sure if you're doing this project at home and if you're tempted to use real candles, you just never use, leave your candle unattended because you could imagine after a few hours burning time and then gets onto the dry stuff at the bottom of the candle, you're going to have a house fire. So please be extra, extra cautious. I'm really pleased with these candles. They're, they're real wax. And then down right at the bottom, there's a little night light. And unfortunately, the batteries need recharging. So I can't show you how they glitter, but they do have a little flickering flame. What I'm going to do is to create, in effect, a mini dory with my candles. So I'm taking some trails of ivy and wrapping them round my hand and then the spare pieces at the end weaving in and out. So you can whip that up in a matter of a few seconds and just tidy away these long pieces here and then slide that over your candle and you've got a decorative trim. Now, we seem to have bindweed absolutely everywhere in our garden, which is a right pain. And I've just pulled some out of a bush, so it's, it's dried off. And I thought, actually, wouldn't that be great if you could take your bindweed and again, make something decorative out of it. So I've pulled it into two bundles and attaching it end to end and then make a loop round. So same technique for the ivy. I've got a, a loop and some tails here. And then to secure it, wrap the tails in and out to hold everything in place. Actually, it looks like I've created a tiny little bird's nest. And again, you have your candle like this. And you can see my point here that you don't want, if you're having a real candle, these wild bits are just too close to where your naked flame would be. But of course, you could always trim it down a little bit or go for something slimmer. And what I've got here, if I started off already, the same technique. And I think this is probably Virginia creeper vine. Or you could use more of the ivy and take off all the green bits. So you're left with a twiggy stem and make a much simpler, less a much simpler ring and I'm going to slide start of the ivy in there and the same thing just weave in and out and you could make this as skinny or as chunky as you like wrap that round there so you've got three alternatives you've got the skinny little vine you can imagine that as a, a mini door wreath your candle like that. You've got a little bit of green, so obviously that ivy will be out of water for the Christmas period, but it is quite a robust greenery, so it should hold up. And then you've got the bird's nest mass. Now for me, I think that's probably a bit too wild and woolly. I'm tempted to take that apart and to make something skinnier. It doesn't really go with the other trimmings I've got for the other candles. So make a much tidier base like that. And again, it's still got those twiddles up here. And again, as I keep saying, the reason why you shouldn't, um, I prefer using the wax candles with the battery operated light inside because you don't have to worry then about any particular fire hazard. So I'm going to take this indoors and I'll show you a few photographs up, up close. <laughs> 